terror on the streets of France again. Armed police rushing to a supermarket in a small town near Toulouse after reports of a gunman holding people hostage. Elite forces were brought into the area around Reb as it was sealed off following a series of attacks. The drama ending in this supermarket where shoppers were taken hostage by the gunman. We heard several explosions, this eyewitness said. I saw a man lying on the floor and another person very agitated with a gun in one hand, a knife in the other, yelling Allah Akbar. The trail of terror began early this morning. The gunman hijacked a car in Carcassonne, killing a passenger and injuring the driver. He then shot a police officer in the city who was out jogging. Next, the suspect drove a few kilometres away to Trebes, where he took hostages in the Super U store in the town. He killed two of them and was shot by police who stormed the shop. The Interior Minister praised the heroism of one officer who'd swapped himself for one of the hostages. Arnold Beltram left his mobile phone line open to help police. When they heard shots, they moved in, killing the gunman. As news of the attacks emerged, the French president, who was in Brussels, was handed a note by his security official. A short time ago, he gave an update on the officer who took the hostage's place. He was severely injured. He saved lives and served his country. The gunman has been named as Redouan Lakdin, who's of Moroccan origin. Police say he'd pledged allegiance to so-called Islamic State. Lakdin was demanding the release of the only surviving suspect in the Paris attacks of November 2015, which killed 130 people. Salah Abdeslam went on trial last month in Belgium following his capture there. Police say today's attacker was known to them for petty crimes and had been monitored by the intelligence services. A raid on his home nearby is underway this evening. Neil Connery, ITV News.